we check the highlights of game number three. Shaq and company looking to regain that home court advantage that they lost by losing game one. And I'm talking about the floater that he throws in the Shaq two-man game. Boy, that looks good. Jason Kidd here on the break. Great ball fake. <laughs> Boy, he made uh, James Posey a pedestrian. Game was tied at 27 going into the second. Kidd gets his own rebound here. Richard Jefferson for three. Jefferson with 15 at the half and only two in the second half. And the defense picked up in the second half. Wade with a little float of defense. He kind of took that slowly, kissed it off the glass. Vince Carter goes baseline, part of his 43 points. So acrobatic. Certainly wasn't. James Posey looked like he was standing on the beach in mud, couldn't move his feet. Antoine Walker from outside made his living there tonight. 13 points at the half for Walker, 16 in the game. Carter, oof. Alonzo Morning, can you hear me now? <sighs> Carter speaking loud with that move. Here's a Wade with the alley oop for the big fella. What a great pass. Again, the ball goes up in the air. Defense watching Wade. He drops it to Shaq. Jefferson hits the pull-up jumper. This game was tight. Back and forth. Neither team pulling away until late when Miami took control. Well, they took control uh, basically because New Jersey didn't take care of the basketball. James Posey with the jumper. End of the third. It was tied at 72. Here's Carter with the crossover. Oh, my goodness. When Shaq showed on the screen, it really showed too big. Vincent split them, went right down the lane, got the finger roll. But the next play down the court, Dwayne Wade says, anything you can do, I can do better. Basket and the foul. Miami up by two. Wade for Shaq. Late turnovers on the part of the Nets led to points on the part of Miami. They pull away, trailing 81-80 with four and a half to go. They go on to the 103-92 victory. You know, all season long, we've talked about possibly the showdown between Miami and Detroit. The way Miami played basketball all year, it didn't look like they were going to get there. But now they look like they're on that collision course to get their revenge from last year's Game 7 defeat in Miami in a game in which they had control of.